and welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we're doing a great fall recipe for you. This is a really simple squash soup. Now we're going to be using kabocha or buttercup squash, but this works with just about any kind of squash. It works with pumpkin as well. Really, really delicious, extremely simple, um, absolutely perfect for fall. And uh, let's get going with our ingredients. So we've got our squash. This is our kabocha uh, squash. We're going to be using some heavy cream and some chicken broth. We're also going to be using a shallot, an onion, uh, some garlic, and we have some of our uh, fresh herbs from our garden. We've got some thyme and some sage for this. So first things first is we're going to start preparing the squash. Now this is a little tricky because squash are just tough to deal with. So first thing we want to do is uh, get a nice um, flat surface to work with. So cut both ends off and uh, it helps to have a very sharp knife and a little bit of elbow grease for this. And we're just gonna cut halfway through this. And there we go. And like any uh, pumpkin or squash, you wanna get rid of all of the seeds in there so there's sort of a, a tough stem right in the middle. And we are going to just cut around that and cut around the seeds and scrape all of that out of the, uh, out of the inside of the squash. Now you can prepare uh, squash seeds the same as you would for pumpkin seeds. Absolutely fine to do that. So if you'd like to uh, spice them up, roast them, you can definitely do that. But they're not going to be not very nice in the soup <laughs> as part of the uh, as part of this process. So we're just going to cut them all out of there. And then you just want to leave the inside nice and clean like this. So. Once you're here, that's uh, that's all you need to do for the inside. We do also want to get rid of the peel. Now, you can see just on the uh, the edge there where we're cutting, uh, Chef Caleb has a very sharp knife, which helps for this. Uh, you can see where the green is. We want to just cut through to the bottom of the green, uh, just leaving the, uh, the flesh of the squash behind. So you want to make sure that you get uh, all that green off A good, very sharp knife is probably the easiest way to do this. You could do it with a an extremely strong and sharp um, a vegetable peeler, uh, but you would definitely want to make sure that you go over it at least twice to make sure you get all of that green off. So a little bit of oil in the bottom of our pan. And while that heats up, we are going to prepare the squash. Now, this soup is going to be blended later, so it doesn't really matter what shape. Uh, all of the bits of squash are in. So we're just gonna cut them into small enough pieces that they're gonna cook in a reasonable amount of time. So we don't want them in big hunks. We want them in pretty small chunks so that uh, they'll cook pretty quickly and uh, we can get on with making the soup. So as long as they're pretty even uh, and the right size, we're ready to go. Next, we're gonna chop up our garlic and you can control how sharp your garlic is by the uh, number of times you cut it. The fewer times you cut it, the uh, less hot it's going to be in your uh, in your final dish. Now for the shallots, we're just going to give that a slice. Again, this is all going to get burr mixed, so you're not going to see these in the final result. We just want them thin enough that they'll cook pretty quickly. And the same with our onions. So we put the squash in first just to let it get a little bit warm before everything else goes in. Now we're going to put all of the uh, the onions, shallots, and garlic on top. <clears throat> and then get everything a uh, nice little sprinkle of salt. We want to make sure everything's seasoned. The squash is quite starchy, so it does take quite a bit of salt. Um, it will, it will just suck it all up, so <laughs> you want to make sure you've, you're, you're well seasoned in there. And then we're just going to give that a stir just to make sure everything's coming together and is well combined. So the uh, squash, you can see here, is still quite hard. It's just been in there while we were cutting the, uh, the onions and garlic, so it hasn't been in there for very long. So <clears throat> once that's started, we're going to uh, just stir it up, make sure it's well combined, and put the lid on and let everything come up to temperature, steam for a little while, and just let everything uh, cook down a little bit. The 
uh, onions and shallots are all going to sort of melt a little bit. You can see they're getting a little bit limp. A lot of liquid is going to come out of the veggies, and that's great. It's going to help everything steam in there. Now you can see that uh, everything's still pretty uh, hard. The squash hasn't started to cook yet, really. Um, it does take a little bit of time. The, the squash is quite uh, tough and uh, and starchy. So when you get to about here, you can see uh, all of the squash has nice soft edges and uh, it's it's really started to cook down. A lot of liquid has come out. You can see at the bottom of the pan there, there's quite a bit. We actually have a little bit of um, material stuck to the bottom of the pan, which is fine. We can just deglaze it with the liquid that's coming out of the vegetables. It works very, very well. And uh, it's, it's just a little bit of uh, color on the bottom. Nothing's burned or anything. You want to make sure you're stirring this from time to time just to make sure that nothing's burning. But uh, if it's just browning a little bit, that's great. That's lots of flavor. So once it gets to here, we're going to start adding our stock. So we're just going to add one, uh, one container of this stock. All of the amounts are going to be in the description below. And then give it a little stir just to make sure that everything's combined again. Also, we're going to uh, use that stock to make sure that nothing's stuck to the bottom of the pan and uh, just scrape everything up. Now is also a great time to add our fresh uh, herbs. So we're just going to toss those in there and let those infuse through the soup because the flavor of that is going to really, really, really add to the soup uh, as a whole. Now the kabocha squash has a lot of flavor. When you cut it at first, it has an aroma a little bit like a cucumber, but it's got a very uh, rich sort of squash flavor. It's, it's, it's quite lovely. Now we're just going to cover that most of the way, leaving a little crack. We do want this to reduce and get a little thicker uh, to make it into that uh, really nice, um, uh, thick, creamy squash soup that you expect from, uh, um, you know, a really good squash. So uh, we're just going to let that reduce a little bit more. It needs a little bit more time. And here you can see it has reduced quite a bit more. It's okay if it uh, comes to a boil. You don't want it to be a super hard rolling boil for a long time. It's okay if it reaches that point. You just want to make sure you keep a very close eye on it because, again, it's so star it's so starchy it can burn to the bottom. So once you're out here, uh, you can see it has reduced rather a lot. We're going to take the stems of the herbs out. So those thyme uh, stems, uh, this is a great time to remove them. But uh, the leaves have mostly come off by now, and you're just going to leave the leaves and also the leaves of the sage in there uh, because they're fine. They're going to get burr mixed in with everything else, and uh, they'll, they'll just mix into the soup, and that's going to be lots of flavor. Just make sure you've got all of those little bits of stem out because they're not super pleasant, <laughs> but the uh, the fresh leaves are. From here, we're going to add our cream, and we're going to get our burr mixer. Now, you can also do this in a blender if you'd prefer. So you just toss the whole thing into a blender or food processor and let it blend in there. And we're just going to burr that until it's beautiful and smooth. You can see here it is uh, really lovely and smooth. Um, there are still uh, some little bits of uh, herbs you can see in there. It's not, uh, um, it's, th that's fine. We, we like a little bit of, uh, a little bit of rustic. If you want it perfectly smooth, you can run this through a Tammy um, or, you know, uh, liquefy it in a very powerful blender, but we don't find that necessary. We like to have a little bit of texture in there. <laughs> and then to serve it, we're just going to pop that into a bowl. We've got a nice uh, bowl full of soup here. Now this is a very thick, extremely hearty soup. Don't overserve because uh, it's it's a lot. It's honestly it's it's a very rich, rich soup. So you don't want to uh, um, just give someone a huge bowl of it because it's it's a lot to get through. <laughs> now we toasted some pumpkin seeds, some pepitas for this. So we're just going to top this with these nice little crunchy bits of pepitas. And that's it. That's the whole thing. You can see in the back there, we've also got one that's uh, decorated with a uh, jalapeno cilantro cream sauce. And we'll be showing you the recipe for that one next week. But that's it for this one. Really, really super simple. Absolutely delicious. Uh, perfect for fall weather. Really warm, hearty, and, uh, and absolutely delicious. So we hope you'll give this one a try. If you like this recipe, please do 
uh, like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food. Mm -hmm.